Greetings, Internet. This is Opie from Turney Gaming with my friend and now co-host, Isaac. Hey, how's it going? We are playing uh, Total War, Warhammer 2. We got the, what, the newest expansion, which is the, wow, I can't actually remember what it's called. The Vampire Coast. Thank you. I'm an idiot. Um, so we're playing that. Uh, we, we've been playing a little bit background, I guess, about us. We've been playing Total War for a while now, uh, mostly offline, though. We figured, all right, you know, we're going to play together. We might as well record it. So why not? Um, yeah. So Isaac here, uh, he is playing... Aranessa Salt Spikes of the Pirates of Sartosa. Yes, yeah, so you'll be seeing my view of the of everything. So unfortunately, you can't really, you won't be able to see what he's doing with his settlement and whatnot. Um, but you know, all the battles we do will be totally co-op. So we'll be able to you know share control and fight together. So while he starts making his moves over there, I will show you where I'm going to be playing. I'm doing uh, Count Noctilus in the Galleon Graveyard, wait out here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, and yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty interesting, like, starting way out here in the middle of nowhere, you know? Yeah, it is nice that they gave us little islands, which weren't, I mean, they were in the, <clears throat> before this DLC came out, but they actually now have, like, use. So it's really fun to just explore and this here. Yeah, I feel like, you know... Most other races, you start off on, like, some continent, and, like, you know, you're kind of told to, you know, you know, you're kind of hinted to attack or do things on that continent. Here, we can literally go anywhere we want. Well, we're pirates. We don't follow the rules. Exactly. Yar. Yar. All right, so... Did some stuff in my city, started some upgrading, raised a few undead for my... Main force here and ready to start pillaging and plundering. I am ready to pillage slash plunder. All right, let's do this. I will spectate. I will say I, I'm doubt jealous of your uh, of the what the cannon the deck gunners like with deck the, gunners. Yeah. yeah, they seem really good. Um, I don't start with those, but. Yeah, Arnessa, Arnessa does seem like she favors a lot more range than some of the other pirate captains. I'm surprised how much how range focused this faction is actually, because it's you know you know vampire counts. There's no range, you know, unless you do that one special lord or whatever. But it's just surprising, you know, to go completely topsy turvy and now have a very ranged faction. I mean, they had to do something to make them feel more different than just <clears throat> undead with funny hats on a boat. Oh, yeah. I mean, frankly, if they were undead without range, I probably wouldn't even be playing them, honestly. Because I could never get into vampire accounts because of that, you know? Oh, totally. Now we wait for Isaac to load. Almost there. I do love this high elf architecture. Not gonna lie, looks pretty fantastic. It's a shame we can't like fight like actually among it, but yeah. Well, we'll get there when we each places more. Yeah. All Oops. right, we're all loaded up. I'm gonna give you use all the range ones, basically. Alrighty. And some wolves. Put some guys in some control groups. Alright, where are we going here? Um, They'll probably make us go towards them, so if you want to kind of set up on the hill, we'll see if they come to us. Gotcha. I'll put my Rotting Prometheans there. I'll put a Sartosa. Quad there. We'll start the doggies in the forest somewhere. Way out there. And I do like these bombers too. They're really good to put like right behind your front line and just, you know, 
really just murder things as you're meleeing them to death. Or holding the line somewhat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, maybe, maybe not murdering. The melee guys for the vampire counts are mostly just there to absorb hits. <laughs> yeah, at least until we unlock some of the bigger guys. Yeah, look at these damn guns. I love them. All right, ready to start? Yep. All right, let's get us some booty. All right, looks like they set up over there. Are they coming? Or are they just going to stand there? I'm going to re... re... Can you go over here? Ah, uh, it looks like they're standing there. We can at least, we can go move up a little bit, see if we can entice them over or something. Yep, sounds good to me. Move your line and I'll come right behind you. Now remember, the archers outrange us, so... As soon as they start shooting anything, I'm just going to run up. Yep, gotcha. Once they start coming forward, I'll put the dogs on them. Jerks. Take the bait. Yep, they're shooting. Just gonna go for it then. Alright, I'm in range to start firing, so I will. Moving up the dogs behind. Oh wow, they are really shooting my deckhands, which I'm fine with. It'll happen. Get stuck in! Alright, dogs are going for the archers. Nice. Get them! Yeah! Surround those archers. Oh, these right. handguns have such a short range. Alright, the one archer squad's about to run. I'll go for the second archer squad in a sec here. Go! Go dogs, go! Yeah, I'm gonna send a freak coming towards them too. Back up off the forest field, basically. Yeah, throw those bombs. Nice. Oh, looks like you got them, so I'm gonna run around with the free company, see if I can uh, envelop this obstinate group of spearmen from behind. Alright, reform the line basically. Mm, dogs are falling out. I'm gonna pull them back so they don't die. Sounds like a plan. Oh, the horses, they got netted. Yeah. Oh. Poor Reavers. Can't go away now. Archers on the one side have reformed. <clears throat> Alright, well, let me uh, send some the zombies at them. Oh, we got guys reformed on the one side. Whoa, those deck gunners have some nice range. Yes, sir. I love the bomber so much. Doing some work. Oh yeah, they just they just disrupt the whole unit. You know, they can't even fight. Alright, 
other archers are falling back again. Eh, it doesn't matter. Victory! Hooray! Oh, We're probably not very good at this, but we won, so hooray! We promised to be entertaining, at least. Hopefully. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I mean, that one squad of uh, your Malinch Free Company did really well, actually. They got stuck in pretty good. Yeah. Wolves did pretty good. Uh, d yeah. Prometheans did pretty good, too, surprisingly. Ooh, I got a weapon. Warrior's Bane. So I... I'm going to establish a pirate cove. Nice. The true yeah, it's a pretty cool feature, actually. I really like that. Really makes them interesting. Yeah, exactly. And I'm going to encamp a little bit so I can heal up. Because I can't go anywhere else right now. No. I'm going to do some research. I think I'm going to go for the immune to storm and reef attrition. Because that's going to help us pillage and plunder more properly. Right, that's the Admiral's Astro Labs, yep. I guess. Yeah. Astro Labs. That's a good one. Certainly not. Commandments, what should I do? I think I will do uh, some growth. Growth is always good. Especially in the beginning, growth is very... Just great to build up your actual settlement, so... And that will be my turn. Alright. I can do things. Huzzah. The only mission I have is do a treasure map. Which is way in the middle of, like, Lustria. So... That's probably not gonna happen anytime soon, but... Okay. Well, actually, it's part of the stance, too. If you stand somewhere and, like, you know, changing it from campaign movement to this, that, you can actually dig for treasure. Oh, nice. Okay. Now, I didn't even see this before. Uh, pieces of eight. Apparently, you can get pieces of eight in this game. And that unlocks Regents of Ren Renown. So, I have one that's pretty close. It's actually, uh, you know, held by Ashok the Bloody, the boys of the Forbidden Coast. I'm guessing they're, you know, orcs or something. Where's that? Where are you looking? For? Where uh, do you see that? If you the the map icon on the uh, right, if you uh -huh. then then there should be treasure maps and there should be pieces of eight, two different you know tabs. Okay. So yeah, I'll have to try that out once I get some an army. First thing I'm gonna do is raise some zombies because I need more guys. I'll just take one of everything I can make. So my guy starts with, you know, a unit of Black Death Guard, which are just really, really good melee guys. Um, I start with a Necrofex Colossus, which is just a, basically just a walking cannon, which is also fantastic. Seems to be really good. And uh, Otherwise, everything else is just kind of, you know, basic, uh, what, deckhand mob... Gunnery mobs, and I did get a handgun mob, so. I can do absolutely nothing in my settlement, so I will just set the thing to growth. For the commandment. Burn the coastline. And before I even build anything, we're going to attack this uh, pirate guy over here. All oh, cowards. Uh, as always. High elves, what do you expect? Yep, so, you know, once again we'll be playing more high elves, but obviously we need to play it because we need to see this Necrofex in action. Oh yeah. So I'm going to try not to... You know, I, I have a bloated corpse, which are basically, for anyone watching this, is... A suicide, like, corpse. It literally goes up and, like, runs into the enemy and explodes. So, really good for 
desperate situations, but I'm probably just gonna like, just kind of hold him back because we do not need it in this fight at all. Ah, we loaded pretty fast that time. And this is a nice, pretty new map. It is. I like the yeah the thing in the center there. The lagoon. I'll give you the control of the Colossus. Yeah, thank you. Oh yeah, you're gonna be right up front. Yeah. So we'll make a nice line of just, you know, deckhand mob. Like so. Put my death guard on the side here to try and flank around. Count Noctilus right in the center. Yep. And he's like a he's like a spellcaster, but he's really armored up. Like not your, not your typical spellcaster look. I mean, he's got, like, a big halberd and, like, full-plate armor, so. I not would... to mention that sweet gold-plated beard. Yes, obviously. The bling is real. It's the source of all this power. It is. So keep the loaded corpse so towards the back here. All right. You all set? Re ready to go? Let's do it. Alright, I'll start moving the guys up, because they're definitely going to be in range before we are. Yep. I'm going to send two groups of pistoliers on the right, the pirate gunner and mob. And yeah, let's that... just move the other two up that way. The cannon guy is already firing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's move him closer, though. I like that he can actually, I think he can move and fire, too, so. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah. Boom. Oh. Oof. That looked painful. Yeah, that guy's amazing. I love those guys. Oh, here come the arrows. Wait till you can get more of them. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna be it's gonna be a long time before that happens. So totally. Oh, I'm getting charged by cavalry here. Throw the death guard in. See the HQ, gonna throw Nicholas on him. And let's put a magic spell way back on those archers. Yeah, explosions. And let's let the neck effects get stuck in. Dump on some spearmen. Get him. I'll oh, just wait it through you guys, and look at that. Just kicked him over. I like this guy comes with healing. He's got a healing spell built in, so. Your lord? Yep. Yeah. Whoa. He just shot the ground. I may have killed some of the pirates in the... Unfortunately... Unavoidable friendly fire incident. It's okay. These guys are kind of meant to die, so. <laughs> yeah, nice flank with those uh, pistol guys. Yeah. All right, I think I'm going to get the uh, horses guys uh, surrounded. The knights. Look at all that carnage. Mystifying Miasma. Okay. I'll put that on the archers. We got him. Nice. Now, can we kill this hero? See if we can focus fire on the hero. He's running. Oh, you sped it up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I figure we'll not waste a lot of time with that. You getting him? Go, go, go. Magic spell. Go. Kill him with a cannon. Stop. Yeah, yeah, got him. All right. Sweet. First battle complete. That was decisive. It was. We, uh, yeah, we lost very little there.
And yeah, that Necrofex Colossus, 146 kills. No one even got, well, I guess the Death Guard got kind of close, but yeah. I mean, it's amazing what you can do if you have four cannons strapped to your hand. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's, like, it's like a rapid fire cannon, which I, I just love. All right. What am I doing here? We get some loot. We can either get treasury, loyalty, which I don't care about because it's my main lord, or replenishment. I like replenishment pretty much always. And of course, he flew, the elves flee like little little cowards they are. I did get another map. This one's kind of north in Lustria. Okay, I can maybe get to that one at some point. Yeah, I actually found one that's very close to me, so I might be going that way next. Nice. I'll level myself up. I will take Root Marcher because as much as I want to mess around with all these spells that he gets, because he's like a primarily a spellcaster, uh, I can't say deny. I can't deny 10% more movement, so. I feel like that's like the required choice for anyone playing this game. <laughs> yeah, movement and positioning is key. Yeah. So, technology, I'm going to take the salvage crews. I like replenishment. And I'm going to have these gunnery mobs and deckhand mobs for a while, so. We're going to start down there. And I can finally build some stuff on my boat. Upgrade this to the officer's cabin for more growth and upkeep. And what to build? You know, what I think before I was looking at this and I was going to start building, like, the heavy ballast to get more growth. But I don't know. I kind of want to be able to make better units at some point. So I think I'm actually going to do um, the spar deck just to try and get up to the... To the uh, no, I mean, they're not very good, though. It's just deck hands with pole arms. I don't know. Maybe I'll do what, handguns, bombers. Maybe I'll do the uh, holes in the side for better ranged, I guess. We'll try that. And, like, this always, like, kind of, like, fools me. I, I see that I have another spot open in my ship, but the ship itself is pretty unique. It's, you know, it's got its own growth. And you need, you know, more growth just to add any kind of building. So it's kind of like a slow build. So, uh, yeah. Otherwise, I think that's it for that turn. So we'll continue. Now we wait the, like, 20 minutes of waiting for all the things to pass. <laughs> it could be worse. It could be Mortal Empires where it would be, you know... Oh, yeah. 50 minutes. Oh, my God, yeah. I mean, I love Mortal Empires, but uh, that is ridiculous. That point's basically Monopoly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Isaac's turn is up. So we go so back over get, here. I'm going to get out of encampment. So I'm going to go to normal stance. No, that's not what I want to do at all. <laughs> uh, actually, um, L Siege? I think you should be able to flee or whatever if you don't want yeah, to siege. Yeah, I can break it. the siege. Yeah. I'll break the siege. That, I didn't click there. Come on. Let me get on my boat. There yes, you go. I'm on my boat now. Full like, speed! It's like, oh, we're going to siege you. Oh, just kidding. Because if you come up here to the right a little bit along the chain of islands, apparently that is where. Riddle of riddles of Ronald will be so I'm gonna go that way and see what I can find. Nice. And there is actually like a I don't know if you can see it. There's like actually like a mysterious island, right right by Sartosa too. You can actually go to those to get like treasure and whatnot too. Oh, I might hit that on the way there because I might stop in at Sartosa to pick up some more crew. Yeah, probably a good idea. Plus my units are still pretty hurt, but yeah. Oh, okay, and uh, oh. One of the nice things I can do now, I can, at the Shrine of Loic, where we just, the elves, I can install my Pirate Cove. So what do I want? Do I want murder and corruption, or smuggling and trade? Hard decisions. I mean, if, I guess, the, I think I've talked to you about this before. The question is, is that, do you plan to attack this area sometime soon, you know? Like, or you think you're just going to leave it as a Pirate's Cove for a long time? Yeah, it's kind of hard to decide because this area, so 
Elisaly, Shrine of Loek, and Cairn Thel is a pretty nice little three group area for a province, and they're all right next to each other, so it wouldn't be terrible to take eventually. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I think I will. I think I'm going to go with the Corrupted Tavern, because that's going to give me infamy, which we want. It's going to add to Vampiric Corruption and increase corruption in adjacent provinces. I like that, yeah. That'll kind of like pave the way for you to come by later and just take over the place. Wreck out the place. Oh, yeah. Um, can I do anything else anywhere else? Nope, I cannot, so that's my turn. All right. Back to me. All right, so I have built two new things in my ship now. I have the uh, holes in the side and the officer's cabin. Ooh, can you catch up to those uh, survivors there? I don't know. First of all, can I get more people? Can I raise anyone here? I can! Hooray! Raise more guys. Some more... I mean, this is all just kind of garbage and stuff you can raise, but it's worth a try, so. Just to fill out the army. I can't quite reach them. Um, unless I do this. No, I definitely cannot, cannot reach him. Because he's running. I mean, what? What's in there? Just some archers and some spearmen. Yeah, it's a principle of the matter. Alright, I'll start chasing him, I guess. Whee! Any, any looted treasure in the area? No. Okay. Yeah, you're that, or we can go down towards Lustria. Yeah, I guess that's the real question is, you know, which direction do we really go? Do we start invading, like, the elves, you know? Uh, and, you know, there's a lot of ports here, which is really nice for us. But the other problem is, like, you're only fighting elves and, like, dark elves at that point, you know? Um, that's just boring. Yeah, I mean, or we go to Lustria, where there's literally what... You know, I can already see the green skins d down south. We know there's lots of Tomb Kings down there because we have that DLC. You know, there's some Empire up here on the coast. Uh, lizard men are plenty. Lizard men farther down south. You know, the Rat Men are down there too, the Skaven. So, uh, you know, I think I just convinced myself, but yeah. <laughs> and there's some dwarves too. There's dwar there's dwarves down there? Yeah, there's a like the spine of Sotek or something, and it's like four or five little dwarf uh, areas to ah, make one province. I did not know that, so, okay. I'm actually gonna go a little farther here. Um, no, this one. Let's see if we can get a little farther past this boat like that. Okay. And one we'll turn there. So I guess maybe my immediate goal would be to head up north to, you know, the High Elf area, and at least get... I, I want to Swanglish Cove, because I'm jealous of yours right now, so I kind of want one, too. <laughs> Cove Envy is a very bad thing, Obi. Yeah, I, I, you know, I got it, you know? What can uh, I say? Fight the pirate of you. Yar. All right, back to Isaac's turn. Yep. I'm gonna just keep going towards Spartosa. I'm gonna hit up this mysterious island on the way. It won't be quite there yet, but two turns will get me there. Uh, can I do anything in my city of Sartosa? Can you raise more guys out there, or does it not let you in the deep ocean? Like Race from the Dead, that is. I can. Uh, maybe do that. I, yeah. I, I heard that for these secret, like, treasure things that sometimes you can be proc to like fight something and you get a bigger reward if you if you win well that's incentive so yeah i'll get another deckhand mob and another hand uh, gunnery mob nice right and that will be my turn back over to me yeah this guy i will not be able to catch up to this guy he's just gone yeah less people makes a boat lighter i guess I guess, or maybe I mean, maybe high elves move faster. I don't even know, you know? Like, so we'll just head to the coast. And let's uh, see what we can find up here, because uh, I want myself a Smuggler's Cove. Bad. Can I raise anyone else? I can. Still have six more slots, so whatever. Don't really want any more handgunners, because they kind of suck. 
for the pistol guys at least. Handguns are okay. Um, okay, so what we'll probably do is we'll probably stop here for now. Uh, that will be episode one. And uh, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, we will continue on with this uh, shortly. So yeah, have a good day.